Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today I'm making a video on my Cattleya uh, Henesiana, also known as uh, Gorianti Henesiana. And the story behind this plant is that I got it in one of our raffles. I won it, and what I really liked about it was that, well, first it was in bloom, so I would immediately gra gravitated towards this plant because of the beautiful color in it. The color itself is more of a cerulea, kind of like purplish color. And uh, I'm gonna give you uh, the name so you guys can see. Right here, whoops, Gurianthes. Henisiana, and as you know, Boringi, uh, Catlias from southern Mexico to Guatemala and uh, Belize in that area have changed to Gorianti versus Catlia. Now, I, since I want this at a raffle, uh, unfortunately, it didn't have a name tag, so. What I did, this is, uh, it bloomed for me again after that first time. And um, I did some research on it. And if you're familiar with Jay's Orchid Encyclopedia, uh, this is what comes up when you do the search. So this is, to me, in my opinion, is the I identical thing to this so if you notice in the lip the limp is tubular and there's no coloration inside other than one solid uniform color and the reason I'm bringing it up is because there's uh, other Gurianthes that could be confused with this plant there is uh, Catlia Boringiana, which is also, uh, now the name has changed to Gorianthes. So this is a Gorianthe that could be confused with this one, but if you notice, the lip is different. The lip has a white throat with a darker margin on the lip. It's like a halo around the lip. So this is Boringiana, and um, this one blooms in the fall, which could easily be confused with this one because this one is blooming in the fall as well. Now, the other hybrid that it could be confused with is Catlia orgorianti guatemalensis. Now, guatemalensis, it's a natural hybrid between Skinneri and Orientiaca. But if you notice, this cannot be that because it doesn't have a spatulate lip like the guatemalensis. And here is Skinneri. Skinneri, it could easily be confused with that, but it also has that white in the throat, which is not this on mine, it's not in this flower. And also, a distinguishing feature of Skinneri is that it's a slightly fragrant compared to Boringiana. And here is a picture of Orientiaca, and you can see how that lip is spatulate. So, in either case, you do not see it in this one. So therefore, I concluded that my orchid is Gurianthi Henisiana. Now, the reason, it's also named Catlia Decori, and the reason I didn't choose Decori is because Decorai is a synonym for Guatemalensis. And uh, I didn't like that, that it is synonymous with Guatemalensis because, as you know, and I just pointed out, Guatemalensis has the spatulate li lip, and it's a natural hybrid. And it's not in this plant. So uh, this is my video. I hope you like it. And it also I also want to point out that why it is important to um, 
to have your labels on your plants because if you lose it then you don't know what your plant is and you have to go on a wild goose chase trying to figure out what your plant is luckily this plant is simple and it's easy to identify others not so much so I hope you like my video and uh, on my Gurianthi Hennessyana so there's no fragrance on it I grow it in Lika pellets it's been here two years yes that's when I last repot it yeah so there you go I hope you like my video Gurianthi Hennessyana Thanks for watching.